Welcome to Blackbridge Sound. Today we're going to be taking a look at the STL Tonality plugin and it's the Lassa Lammert version. So we don't really use a lot of aftermarket plugins here. Everything you've heard on the channel up to this point has all been stuff that's been built into Logic. But today we're going to be taking a look at the STL Tonality plugin. This is the last Lambert version. I guess there's a couple different different amp versions that they have. But uh, I really like this producer, and I really like the tones that he gets. So I decided to give this one a go. It's a it's a full featured amplifier plugin, and it's uh, an amplifier, a cabinet. It's got a couple pedals with it, and it's got some effects as well. Now, one thing I was really interested in trying this for is I don't really have anything to do impulse response stuff with, so I wanted to see if the cabinets would work with an outboard preamp. And I also have my Engel E530 hooked up. As you can see, I have the stomp boxes and the amplifier disabled. And the cabinet enabled. So this is what it's like with an outboard preamp. So that's a pretty handy feature that I was really really hoping that you would be able to do with it when I bought it. It didn't really specify if you could or not, but it is nice that you can turn off the amplifier and use your own if you want. So in this plugin, it comes with a whole bunch of presets that Lass, I guess, designed all the presets themselves, including some album tones from Glory Hammer and Ailstorm and a couple other bands. So it's really neat the way they did the cabinets because you can grab pretty much any one of the speakers that they've modeled from the list up here. And on each speaker, they've modeled it with, what, one, two, three, four, five different microphones. And on those microphones, there's like hundreds of different positions that they modeled. So these, I guess these are all actual impulse responses from the actual position that it shows. And it's cool because you can grab this and you can kind of move it around and that's exactly where they took it on the on the actual cabinet itself so it's like
there's also built-in effects to it too. So they give you an EQ, a delay, and a reverb, and they all actually sound pretty good. I'll load up another preset here. Now obviously if you want to use it with an outboard preamp you can as well. And in this they've given you three different amps so you can either get the Driftwood Purple Nightmare which I guess is an officially licensed plug-in for this. Uh, there's some kind of diesel amp. I don't really know anything about diesel amps. And then I'm pretty sure this is a JCM 800. So there you have it. There's a quick little demo of the STL Lassa Lammert version. I really like this plugin. It's uh, it's great if you don't really want to play with an amp. Like I use it for practicing all the time. I'll just fire on the computer and away you go. It sounds great for demos and stuff too. I'm sure you could use it for an actual album. Let's check it out in a mix. So there you have it. I think it sounds great. Like you could easily use this for an album, no problem if you wanted to. In terms of how taxing it is on your system, like it's it it works great. Like this computer is 14 years old and we're running it in Logic and I don't seem to have any issues with it at all. So any newer system should be able to run this fine. You should be able to run it on pretty much anything out there now anyways. So there you have it, STL Tonality, Lassa Lammer. Let us know what you think in the comments. This thing's got a ton of presets. I could take an hour going through this, but I don't really want to waste all your time. So if you want to see something specific about it, let us know. Maybe we'll fire up another little video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to us to stay updated for future videos. And we'll see you next time.